Okay. Yeah, so I flew from Johannesburg uh, from the MTC, and then I was picked up at uh, Cape Town Airport. Um, I'm a mission president and his assistant. And um, as we, you know, got to the mission home, you know, I had an interview with the mission president, and uh, I thought I was going to have some rest. But, you know, immediately after the interview, he, you know, he gave me to, you know, I was assigned to two old missionaries, you know, to go out with that same day. You know, so new from the MTC and straight to the field to go and teach. So uh, we went to this house and, um, <clears throat> you know, and funny thing about it is um, the area that I, you know, I went to on my first field, you know, my first day in the field, that was the area that I finished my mission. So, and it's the, that house is the last house that I entered before I came home. I intentionally did that because it was the first house I entered on the mission field. So I, inter I inter intentionally went there, you know, as the last house to enter. And, uh, you know, the man, when I was leaving, the man still hasn't baptized, but uh, a scripture that came into mind as, you know, um, as a new missionary, you always want to teach. You know, want to talk, you know. So um, these two experienced missionaries, you know, took me there. And, you know, in the middle of the lesson, in the middle of the lesson, I just jumped in and shared a scripture. And uh, it was a scripture that they haven't usually been using it in a lesson before. So it was a scripture in Matthew 4, chapter 4, verse 19, where... You know, when the Savior met those two disciples, he asked them to follow him. You know, and these disciples were, you know, casting nets, and uh, they were fishermen. You know, but, you know, as the Savior called upon them, immediately they left their nets and followed him. And this was a man that I realized was you know, has been inv had been invited a couple of times to be baptized. The wife was um, a member, but he wasn't. So, you know, I invited him to think about any other nets that he thinks, you know, is keeping him from following the Savior. So, and he thought about it. We felt the spirit. He was silent for a couple of minutes. I think it hit him, and uh, I felt the spirit as well. I was so glad that I found a scripture that will be applicable to someone, you know, in my first lesson, you know, in the mission field. So, and after the lesson, uh, Ed Ingram, you know, he loved it. He he loved it for you know that I shared that scripture with that man and. He thought it was very applicable to him, but it was up to him to decide to hold on to the net or to leave it and follow the Savior. We all have nets in our lives that we think we feel comfortable. The fishermen were, you know, they, they, they probably felt comfortable with fishing, because that's what they did for a living. And then all of a sudden someone called you, come follow me, leave your nets and come. And we are so and that was the lesson that i had it was cool experience that you know gave me the morale or the motivation you know that well i can i can do this you know because I, I i wasn't thinking of the scripture when i was going i didn't know what to share but it just came you know it just came boom and then i shared with him I really knew that, you know, the scripture that our apostles always share with us, that, you know, uh, do not take thought what you shall say. And the spirit will, will just tell you what to say. And that's where I really started knowing that, you know, had a witness that the spirit really, you know, 
guide missionaries and you know tell them what to say at the right time and at the right places. <laughs>